Uju Ginoa, Nina Gagi Gabenes, Minoa Kiritabenes, and they go. Biju and do them, Niki Kusman Akaning and Donji, Megizi and up in a Kazuin. I introduce myself in a language because uh, that's the most important thing about who I am and what I am. So in, in English, I mentioned that my name is Dan. <coughs> Anishinaabe name is Everlasting Thunderbird, Gagi Gabenes. And my clan designation is the Lynx. And I'm from a reservation in Ontario, Canada called uh, Nigegunsamin Akani. And uh, today what we're talking about is cultural aspects of the language. Uh, for those people that are teaching the language, you really should be aware of the cultural aspects of it. You really cannot separate the language from the culture. They're uh, inextricably linked. So when you talk about language, you can't avoid talking about the culture. And when you talk about the culture, you can't avoid talking about the language. And so uh, <clears throat> if you were to won't talk about them individually, exclusive from one another, you wouldn't be doing either one justice. And so uh, they're linked that way because um, you, you hear, you, you can see and hear and learn a lot of things just from words, from, from the language. <clears throat> so when you think about it, the language is um, how we convey ideas to each other. And how we convey those ideas uh, reflects the values that we have in our society. The things that you value that are, that are seen as sacred, the objects that are seen as um, important. And in that way, what happens is that uh, first language speakers intuitively know this just by listening to the language. You know, uh, in the There's certain things in the English language that doesn't translate well from Ojibwe. And so, because you're missing certain things. And good explanation for that is that the language, the English language, are uh, being told that it consists primarily of nouns. So when you talk about nouns, what you're doing is um, you're describing just objects. In Anishinaabemowin, you're talking about uh, verbs, and so you're describing what's going on. So <coughs> you lose things if you try to translate literally. And cultural context, cultural meaning, uh, certain objects in English it would become alive in Ojibwe 